Hi everybody, welcome to a brand new vlog. Not gonna lie, I've just got in the car and I was not expecting at midday for the windscreen to be frozen. It is clearly ridiculously cold at the moment. I actually can't deal with it. It's actually zero degrees right now. I'm sorry if it's really noisy, but I've just, I don't have the energy today to like get out and scrape the window and I'm not in like a massive, massive rush, so it'll be fine. So I've not filmed for a few days just because I'm still not quite over this cold. I don't know what it is, but it's just really got to me this year and I'm not feeling great to be completely honest. So, so I haven't really been filming. I've not really done much since the last video. Right, thank God the window is like nearly clear now. Cause I've just like put the wipers on as fast as it'll go. So I'm just about to get into town. Um, I need to go to Paramount to get some bits. And then I am going to therapy. I didn't know if I wanted to speak about this online, to be completely honest. Then I just think like, I'd rather speak about it and normalize that going to therapy is okay and it's not a bad thing. I started therapy probably about like just over a year ago and I feel like it's something that everybody should do if you can get that opportunity to do it because it's so freeing and I just feel like it's been a really life-changing experience for me personally. Obviously not everyone has that same experience and I completely get that and it depends what kind of therapy you have and there's lots and lots of different types of therapy as well so if it's something that you've kind of considered I'd say definitely do your research into it. Obviously you need to experience it to actually know if it's going to work and if it's going to be helpful or not but I would definitely say research it. There's so many different types of therapy, which is something that I didn't actually realize. By the way, I'm so sorry of how croaky my voice is. It's actually ridiculous. I can't wait to feel completely well again. By the way, if you watched my last vlog, I bought like a waiver from B&M and this is the hair from the waiver. Really, really needs cutting because it's so dry at the end and the roots to be fair my roots actually aren't that bad but i am getting it colored and cut on friday which i'm very very excited about i don't actually know if i said it's wednesday today i got it wednesday i thought it was tuesday i am gonna go to primark try and grab some lunch i literally have 45 minutes to go to primark and get some lunch and then i have to go to the other side of stockport and go have my therapy session i'm quite excited for it to be fair because i do always feel amazing after it it can be quite nerve-wracking though but yeah i'm gonna go and drive to stockport because i have stuff to do and christmas presents to buy let's say quite a successful trip to primark the stuff they have in there at the moment is literally ruining my bank balance because i've just picked up some really beautiful pajamas but to be fair i saw some exactly the same in H&M. No, I don't have to wear in H&M to be fair. But a lot cheaper in Primark. And they're red, and they're crispy, and I never normally get Christmassy pyjamas. I'm not really a Christmassy kind of gal, to be fair. I thought I'd get some Christmassy pyjamas. Hey guys, I'm running extremely late to go and get my hair done. It is so cold today. I don't actually know where I finished off the last bit of the vlog so apologies if it's a little bit here there and everywhere yeah i'm gonna go and get my hair done my roots are horrendous so i'm so excited to get it done and feel fresh again i genuinely just thought then that i had lost my car and i was standing literally like the place where you get in the car park is literally there and the car was facing me and i couldn't find the car anyway had my hair done now she didn't style it like this with like the side part in but it's i've had quite a lot of length taken off so i just thought i'd kind of like push it to the side for now i do normally always get my hair curled at the hairdressers as well but i thought i'd go for i'd go for straight this time because i'm really enjoying having my hair straight at the moment so i thought i'd go for that so grabbed a little starbucks skinny cappuccino with an extra shot this literally has four shots of coffee in i don't really find that coffee might keeps me awake though which i know is ridiculous i really don't think that it does so i'm just about to head back and then i'm going over to my friend's house later just for a little chilled girly night in can't wait to be honest because i'm so tired and i just need like a nice chilled night and then i'm working tomorrow i have sunday off 
and then I'm working oh my god I'm gonna be working for like 10 days straight after from Monday yeah so I'm gonna be working from Monday I'm gonna be working 10 days straight so all like Monday to Friday Saturday Sunday and then Monday Tuesday Wednesday is normal and then I have my big 12 days off for the Christmas break which I can't wait for I don't even remember the last time I actually had a proper break off and I feel like I say this all the time, but it is so needed. This is why I am not getting over this cold because I don't stop and it ain't healthy. Hello everybody. It is Monday and I don't even know what the last thing that I filmed was. So apologies if this video is a little bit here, there and everywhere. Do you know what I've just realized as well? I've hardly been in my car this vlog. I feel like I'm getting better, but here I am in the car now. So I got my nails done this morning. I can't really get the camera to focus like close up well they're they're glittery not really very Christmassy I went for some neutral tones because I feel like that's just me at the moment so it is 10 past four and I'm just about to go in to the hall where I do like my final three classes of the day it is ridiculously cold I cannot can't get over how cold it is I feel like everyone is moaning so much about the cold and it's like it's winter like of course it's gonna be cold but it feels like it's gone from like being 10 degrees to like in the minuses so quickly and I can't quite cope with it minus one right now and I think it was minus three when I left this morning to go and get my nails done at like quarter to ten also as well this is the weirdest thing that happened this morning so I'm pretty sure I've broken my little toe and I don't know how this happened but I got it trapped underneath a door this morning there definitely does have a gap probably like this big underneath it but somehow got my toe trapped and it felt really really strange after it happened and i had to put my shoes on straight away because i was going out to go and get my nails done i was running late and it's not felt right since i was jumping around dancing with toddlers earlier on and i had to just like not really jump on that foot and now I've got three hours of classes and I don't really know how I'm gonna get through it and then in fact oh my god then I've actually got to drive to Stockport and do a class in Stockport as well and I don't know how I'm gonna actually get up the stairs dance for an hour I'm not gonna go to a &E because it's literally it's my little toe like I'll be fine it doesn't feel right and I'm a bit concerned because I've still got like a week of classes to get through before the Christmas break I've driven and it's been fine. It's been a little bit painful. Like I had to do like an emergency stop before because my car was literally sliding on the ice and I nearly crashed into another car. And it did hurt a little bit then, but I've been able to like drive as normal. Like I'm safe. I'm not putting myself or anyone else in danger. Good morning. Might not be morning where you are. I really need to not say that because it's not always morning. It is now Wednesday and Monday finished very abruptly because somebody turned up in the car park behind me and I got really embarrassed and I was like, ah, I'll turn it off. And then yesterday, oh my God, it was so cold yesterday. And I've also got this broken toe situation. And I was just like, today's not the day. I actually didn't get ready until I physically had to either. So oh, I don't know what is happening with my hair. I had quite a lot cut off on Friday and I'm finding it, a bit of a struggle to style again and I used like my waiver yes last night just to kind of test it and now I literally look like I've been dragged through a bush so I'm going to sort my hair out and then I'm going to do my makeup and I'm going to take you along with me because well I'll explain in a minute why now I massively apologize for the actual state of my skin have you seen this I've got such dry skin around here and then I put a bit of tan on my face last night and it's just like clung to it clinged to it I don't even know. Don't look my best. I'm going to do something with my hair before I leave the house. So yesterday, I decided to... I don't know how that light looks. I've just turned the light on here. So yesterday, I decided to open every drawer, if you will, from my glossy box advent calendar. Because, to be honest, I'm not really that impressed by it this year. And I thought if I open every single door, then at least there will be something there that I'll be impressed with. So I'm gonna do my makeup today using as many products as possible from there and tell you about some others as well are in there too. So I've just put them all in a couple of little boxes. This is the box from the little neon set that was in the last video. Right, I'll go through some items that I'm definitely not gonna use. These were actually in one like drawer or for one day. So it's the from rituals and it's the ritual of the ritual of Ayurveda. I've absolutely no idea. 
um, it's the foaming shower gel. I've had the hand cream in this scent before that I think I've got actually in a glossy box and it's amazing. So I'm really excited to use that. And I love those foaming shower gels as well. I don't know. I just feel like it feels really luxurious, doesn't it? If you've not tried one, you definitely need to. And then it also had the Ritual of Jing Soothing Body Cream. Not gonna lie, I probably won't use that. I actually have really, really sensitive skin. Not on my face, but on my body, especially like, like my arms and my legs. And I get really, really, really itchy if I use products that my skin doesn't agree with. So I don't really tend to use body lotions apart from the Aveeno body lotion and I use the body wash as well and that's the only thing that doesn't actually flare my skin up so I don't really tend to use them so I probably won't end up really using that that much to be fair just because I just can't be bothered with my skin getting really horrible and itchy and sore. Another one that I'm not going to be using in this video it's the We Are Paradox Moisture Express Hair Mask. I do like a hair mask and I've not got any at the moment. So yeah, I'll definitely be using that. I'm literally just going to go through everything that I'm not going to use in this video first because I feel like if I keep saying, I'm not going to use this one in this, so this is this product, it's just going to get boring. This is a Corez Night Brightening Sleeping Facial. Another nighttime product. I don't actually know what the brand of this is called. I think it's Earth Harbour. Then it also says Lunar Rain. Anyway, it's a resurfacing night serum. Let's have a look actually, because I've actually opened this box. Oh my God, it's actually quite a big bottle of it. It says benefits and dye your skin with raindrops of moonlight magic, a rich lightweight serum featuring a medley of seaweed, collagen, superfruit acids, and botanical multivitamins that refine and retexturize skin to reveal a smoother and more radiant looking complexion all while you enjoy your precious beauty sleep that sounds quite nice yeah i'll probably give that a go tonight so i actually didn't know that L'Occitane do shampoo so there's a little like mini shampoo and conditioner which i'm probably gonna save just in case i end up going on a trip at some point i don't know i've not got anything planned but i'll probably just keep them for that because they're so cute and so tiny oh forest essentials illuminating body oil again this is the sort of thing that just makes my skin like just not feel nice which is obviously the exact opposite but i just don't like using stuff on my skin yeah again i don't know if i'm going to use that this one's quite an exciting one nip and fab vitamin c fixed tonic I feel like loads of brands are doing these after the pixie one i've got um i don't actually know where it is but i have got one from soap and glory that's really really similar and i have got the pixie one as well but yeah i don't use these a massive amount but i do really like them when i do do you know what i think i'm gonna it does say to use it in the evening i might just actually use that today last one of things i'm definitely not going to use whilst doing my makeup right now is the magnetone what actually is this called microsonic soft touch silicone facial cleansing brush that is a mouthful so i had like a fake one really similar to this a while back and i did really like it but i lost the charger for it and i don't know what like charger it had for it oh do you know oh no it's not the same as this so it's like the foreos foreo foreo where it's like a little oh there you go so it like vibrates and you use that little bit to like massaging your product whatever product you use like i like it with like a face scrub to be completely honest because i feel like it just like gets it in a little bit further to the skin and exfoliates a bit more so i'm really excited to use that because i've lost the charger for the current one that i have actually another one that i won't use because um yeah false eyelashes i'm definitely not gonna wear false eyelashes today these are from land of lashes they're quite like short i don't know if you can actually there you go they're quite short right so i've got a selection of things i haven't got like enough for a full face like there's no like foundation or concealer or anything like that but i'm going to use as much as possible from all of this stuff i'm going to moisturize first my skin is so dry and i'm literally been waiting for like to film and get to this point of the video to actually put moisturizer on my skin feels disgusting this is the laneige water bank blue hyaluronic cream moisturizer i'm not gonna lie i really like the packaging for this i just think it looks it looks really cool this is so hard to focus it's actually ridiculous just think it looks really cool it kind of reminds me of like 
AirPods, like the little packaging for AirPods. It also comes as well, which I've never seen with a moisturiser. Maybe I just don't buy fancy moisturisers. It's got like a little spatula with it. I'm going to use the little spatula just because it's there for a reason. I'll literally use this once and then I'll probably end up losing it and then finding it. Oh God, I've done way too much moisturiser. Finding it in like three months time and then being like, oh yeah, that's from that moisturiser. Oh, this feels quite nice. Oh, this is so dry here, it's actually unreal. This is quite a nice moisturiser, actually. If any of you watching have also got the Glossy Box Advent Calendar, let me know in the comments below what you thought of it. I don't think it's bad, I just I had it last year and I felt like last year, like there were a couple of like weird products in there that I was like, what the hell is that? I'm never going to use that. But it's not wowed me as much this year. However, that moisturiser is actually really, really lovely. So yeah, I quite like that. Right, I'm going to try this as well because it says that it's, it says it's a mask moisturiser and primer in one. I don't really like, yeah, I'm going to use this as a primer. So it's, this works in transit camera close up. Actually, no, I'm not. Before I do that, I'm actually going to use the eye cream. It is by B overnight eye cream. Overnight? Oh, well. I've not been sleeping well the past couple of nights. I'd probably say I've not had actually a good night's sleep maybe since like Saturday. So I'm feeling it and I feel like I do definitely like benefit from using eye cream when I've been quite tired. Right, now I'm gonna use the This Works moisturizer primer situation. Obviously I've got moisturizer on already. It is quite a heavy moisturizer actually that um that blue one to the point where i'd probably actually use it at night rather than in the, the daytime especially because obviously i'm going to be putting makeup on did also apply quite a lot as well so that's probably why it feels really heavy on my skin and i don't know why i'm putting this on as well but i'm going to put a teeny tiny bit just to give an extra little layer of moisture because my skin is not feeling great if i look a bit strange by the way looking sort of like behind the camera I have a mirror there. Also, I'm actually filming on front camera again at the moment because I've found that cinematic mode is actually looks okay. So if I'm looking at like not in, in the camera, then I do apologise. I'm going to do my base and then I'm going to come back and use the other products on the rest of my face. Right, I've done my base. So I've used MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC25 and the Last Imperfection Concealer from Collection in shade 4. Always know where I stand with those two. So I've got two brown products. So I've got the Refi Brow Pencil, which I'm really, really excited to use. And then I've got this from Gosh. Ah, this is a gel. Right, okay. Right, let's try and get this open and have a look at what's going on. Right, so I've took the lid off and it's revealed this. And then, oh... I'm gonna give this a go and put this straight on my brows before pencil. I'm presuming I then use the other side. Let's screw it back on. I feel like this is a bit of a dupe of the Refi brow gel to be completely honest, which I haven't tried, but I've seen videos with it. I don't really know how much I'm supposed to be doing, but I think that'll do and you can't really, can't really see. Right, I'm gonna leave that. I don't know how if I've even used it properly, but I'm going to go in with the brow pencil anyway. Why am I struggling to get into every product today? Don't know if I actually said in the last part of the video on Monday, but I broke my toe on Monday. I got it trapped under the bathroom door, so apologies if I've already mentioned that in this video. Very, very bruised, but I could actually walk on it. Can't get in this. I could actually walk yesterday with a tiny bit of a limp. I did rest it like all day before I had to go to work. I genuinely just broke a pair of tweezers trying to get in this packaging. What the hell is happening today? So this is the Refi Brow Pencil. It's the shade medium. I don't know if this is going to be a little bit... Oh my gosh, wow. I don't know if you can see that. Hang on. It's so... Oh, it's not focusing. It's so fine, this pencil. Right, I'm going to have to move the mirror. I think I might have mentioned in my last video that I do go through a real love-hate relationship with eyebrow pencils. I feel like I'm in the, the love bit again. Oh my god, this is really good. kind of wish I didn't have put that brow gel through, not gonna lie, because it's making it a little bit difficult. This is really, really lovely though. I'm so sorry, I don't know how much or how little of this you can actually see, just because of where the camera's set up. And obviously where I've had to bring this mirror to. So I do apologise. This is not the best footage in the world. I am so impressed with this. This is really nice. 
this is a really good product. The shade is actually perfect, to be completely honest. I feel like I've just got some gaps there. I shouldn't have put that brow gel on. Yeah, I really, really like that eyebrow pencil. And I am really impressed by it. So, my lips are feeling really, really dry. So, just before I put any more makeup on, any lipstick or anything, I'm going to use this. It's from Glossier. Never used anything from Glossier before, so I'm quite excited. And there were actually two things from Glossier in, like, the same, like, behind, like, the same door. So, the other one was this. It was, like, a cheap colour. But this is just a lip balm. I cannot get into any of these products today. What is going on? There we go. Oh, it's like very like thick. It's kind of the texture actually I feel like of Vaseline. But it's minty. Oh I love that. That's really nice. That's a really nice lip balm. So this was under the first door. I feel like I might mention this in the last video. It's the Iconic London Precision Duo Contour Pot. So I'm pretty sure, I've not tried this yet, I'm pretty sure there's like a cream contour and a powder in this little compact. Yeah, there's a cream, right, okay, so there's a cream and a powder. I'm going to go for the cream. It looks extremely dark. Let's give it a go. Actually, it's not extremely dark. Oh, this is quite nice, actually. So for contour, I do tend to use like a matte powder bronzer and i do also really like using the p louise bases so depending on how tan i am i'll either use shade six or shade eight but i feel like they're a little bit messy because you've got to kind of put it on the back of your hand or you know whatever which i know is not i know isn't the the worst thing that you'd have to do however this could just come straight from the pot and it just makes it a lot easier that's quite nice it's probably a little bit too pale actually for this color of foundation right i'm gonna try the powder one as well i don't know if this is gonna be a little bit intense but i'm gonna give it a go anyway it looks extremely dark but then on it's actually not yeah, it looks extremely dark. Maybe it's because I'm normally using like bronzer rather than like a contour. Do you know what? I'm actually quite impressed by this product because I had absolutely no expectation whatsoever and I think it's actually really, really nice. I'm actually going to use that same shade through my crease because this is what I do on like a daily anyway and I don't have any eyeshadow products in there oh that's applied quite a lot i'm using the powder by the way not a massive fan of cream products on the eyes i used to absolutely love like a cream eyeshadow i just feel like just i can't be doing with the creasing powder all the way and to be completely honest i don't even really wear proper eyeshadow anymore i literally just do this every single day oh yeah i really like that that's that's pleasantly surprised me so i'll show you the products that i've got left because i may or may not use them so there's a teeny tiny milk mascara it's the rise mascara the glossier blush which i'll probably will use that there is a p louise lip base i was very surprised that they had p louise in there to be honest something that i definitely won't be using because i've got my makeup done is the x lash pro eyelash serum i've never used an eyelash serum before so i'm going to use that tonight before i go to bed but i've never used it before so i'm quite excited i might put this on my hair my hair does need a wash but i'm just it sounds stupid but i'm so scared because it's so cold that i'm just like i don't want to cold and wash my hair then i can just put a little bit of dry shampoo in it and it'll be fine anyway it's the color wow pop and lock high gloss finish it's like a like a serum but it's like glittery i don't know if you can see but it's glittery and it's so cute so i might end up just putting a little bit of that through my hair there is a setting spray there i'm gonna use and then there's also a really teeny tiny brush from spectrum that would probably actually be really good with that contour because it's so small so do i put some eyeliner on i don't think i'm gonna put any eyeliner on let's see me struggle getting into this as well can't even use my tweezers because i've broken them I'm trying to get into that eyebrow pencil so as i was telling you my story about me injuring my toe in the most ridiculous way i just thought to share another hilarious story do you know what i feel like i've got so many stupid funny stories because i just do stupid things and like unintentionally so i was thinking about this as i was driving home from work a couple of weeks ago my first car so I bought my first car when I was 19. Obviously, I had a black box in it for the insurance. And 
the black box like tracks your journeys it tracks obviously it, like how you're driving and whatnot anyway so this was 2018 and i was driving to i was driving to southport for like a dance convention oh my god now i've got the sticker off this i still can't actually get in it this is the milk mascara by the way here's the little mascara let me give this again mm, this isn't gonna do it for me i'm gonna use my normal mascara benefit bad girl bang best mascara ever if you've not used it you need to try it so i was driving to southport this was in like July 2018 and got really lost because I think the sat nav had, or I'd like not, like had ignored the sat nav or something. I got really, really lost and had to do a U-turn and I crashed my car into the curb. Not like crashed, like a curb's obviously not very high, but I bumped into the curb as I was like doing a three point turn or whatever. About, I think it was maybe like the day after I got a phone call from the insurance company asking me if I was okay. They were like, oh, we just wanted to see if you're okay. And I was like, I'm fine. And they were like, oh, just because, like, we, the records have shown that you've had an accident. And I was like, what, like, when, when, what? And they were like, oh, on, on Sunday. I was like, hang on, was it near the sea in Southport? And they were like, yeah, yeah, we can see there on the map. I was like, right, I bumped into a curb, clearly with a lot of force. And to be fair, it was with a lot of force, but, um yeah they they actually rang me to see if i was okay because i bumped the curb so hard that they thought that i'd been in an accident and they obviously just wanted me to be like yeah i've been in an accident can i claim and pay the excess and all that nonsense nope just crashed into a curb i feel like i've got lots of stories that i could tell you about me driving about how the car i've got now two weeks in bumped into a drain pipe got a big scratch on the back of the car Lost car, had it for a month, crashed into a curb, popped the tyre, but the tyre was not a normal size tyre, it was a huge tyre, because it was a huge car, cost me about £150 to replace, which was not great. Yeah, I feel like I've got lots of stories, they're not all driving related, like I do drive safe 99% of the time. You know, things happen, I've been driving for seven years now, and things happen. I just end up getting in this like habit of embarrassing myself. Right, I think that mascara has done it for me. The one from the glossy box advent calendar has not. I'm also going to use some brow gel as well. So this is the P. Louise brow gel in the shade Mochaccino. I just feel like I need a little bit of not just texture but a bit of colour as well. I feel like that brow gel that was in the calendar would have been fantastic if you know if you get like your brows nano bladed, micro bladed or whatever, it probably would work really well for that, but because I don't yeah, it's just not just not not for me. Right, this is the Glossier Cloud Paint Seamless Cheek Colour in the shade Storm. If it's this colour, I don't think it's gonna be going on my cheeks. But we'll see. To be fair, it might blend out. Oh actually, that's quite that's quite a nice shade and it does actually blend out quite nicely. Right, I'm gonna apply this with a brush so i've put a bit on the back of my hand to test it i'm gonna apply it from there it's quite like a a wintry rosy kind of color i'm just gonna take my foundation brush just to kind of blend it out a little bit i don't really know much about glossier as a brand but i have heard good things this is very sheer i thought it was going to be like a thick consistency but it's very sheer very light that's what we want for blush we don't want it to be mega pigmented right this is nearly a full face done there is a lipstick here but i'm not sure if the shade is for me today because these are so pigmented i am putting it over the lip balm so hopefully it's gonna just diffuse it a little bit i'm gonna have to sort this out with a brush i've got a feeling that i, ha I actually own this already no i don't own it already thought that i did right i'm gonna finish off with a little bit of a setting spray this is from the beauty crop and it is the glow milk mini mist seal and set mist oh it smells rosy so i am good to go now i've just realized this vlog actually started this time last week because i am going to therapy after i remember speaking about that at the beginning of the video so yeah this i don't know why i kind of wanted in my head to do like a monday to friday like vlog like that but it's not turned out that way but also as well i feel like every vlog's just gonna be the same if i do a monday to friday because 
I do the same thing every Monday, every Tuesday, but like at least like there's some variety if I do it a little bit differently. I feel like I'm getting too harsh on myself about this whole like vlogging situation because like it really doesn't matter. Like I can do kind of my own thing and I don't have to stick by any rules or whatever and f film every day. If I'm not feeling it, I shouldn't be like making myself feel bad about it. Alexa, what time is it? It's 11.03 a.m. I don't know why I did that because my fo other phone is here. People think it's really weird that I have two phones, but I have a work phone, I have a personal phone, I can turn the work phone off at the weekend and in the evening when I don't want to think about work. Though I end up getting work stuff through on this phone as well, so it kind of defeats the object of it, but it's a little bit easier to switch off. I like having two phones, it makes me feel really important, which I know is ridiculous, but it does. I feel like I've been sat here talking for forever and a day, it's probably been like an hour, but before i sign off for this part whether there is anything that ends up getting filmed for the rest of the day which probably won't be i got a new handbag yesterday so an ad came up on i think it was on instagram stories for brand alley and i i've heard of brand alley before never bought anything from there and there was a handbag on there and it was like it was a tommy hilfiger handbag and it was £79 and I was like what is this like this is insane so I caved and bought one in fact I almost ended up buying a coach bag as well or like instead of the discounts on there were ridiculous I feel like they might have been maybe like last season's stuff but even so like if you're buying something that's timeless it really doesn't matter does it like if it's last season's or not right I'm gonna go and wash my hands and then I'm gonna go and get this bag it is behind me here so this is the bag i don't actually know if it's real leather or not i'm presuming it is but maybe it's not because of the price so it's got this gorgeous little gold hardware it's like gold and enamel gold hardware on the side and i really like the way that this opens because this little bit here comes down and it opens up and it's quite a nice size inside and to be honest it kind of reminded me i know that ysl have a bag like this out uh, very very similar to this at the moment and it's like everywhere and obviously i don't have the budget for a ysl bag this however nice quality 79 pound and i got it on clear pay as well so i've not actually had to pay for it up front but this is my christmas present to myself because I always buy myself, I feel like it's just an excuse for me to buy something for myself, but yeah, I really, really like this and I'm really, really happy with it. I just think it's, I just think it's very classy, very classic and I'm going to get so much use out of this and the only actually black handbag that I own is like a quilted bag of, that I got from DKNY. I think it was in like 2014, maybe 2015 and i feel like it's kind of more of a going out out bag rather than like a daily bag whereas i feel like i could go out for a nice dinner wearing this but i could also wear this going to the shops and it wouldn't be you know that crazy but yeah i i love it it's so nice so i'm just about to head out the door and i tried to put on a pair of boots and i've had these boots for a few weeks now haven't worn them yet they're gorgeous like khaki green like chunky chelsea boot really cute but they're so tight on my broken toe i don't really know what other shoes to wear because i feel like everything is very 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 tight and my uggs are at the studio so this is the outfit choice the shoe choice of the day please don't judge do you know what actually do you judge because i look like a tip today so if you see me out and about just know that it's because this little toe's broken, but do you know what? It's still tight. I didn't think they would be because these are so wide. Um, these are from H&M. I got them in the summer. I do really like them. I kind of like them with the socks. They just look like a bit of a knob, but there you go. So I went to the fabric shop and it was closed today. I was like, are you actually joking me? I've just been to Ikea and my toe today is it's very painful it's really painful and i've just limped around ikea i've gone and got in a one and only lift with people who genuinely like needed a lift as in people with buggies probably looking like really silly like not just taking the stairs but i was like 
physically can't take the stairs. I can park probably like not that far away from the entrance and it was, it was a struggle. Oh my God, do, do you know what? Anyway, it is only a week until the Christmas holidays. So I'm working tonight, working tomorrow. I say I work Friday, I do work on a Friday, but I only do one class, which if you've watched the other vlogs, you'll have heard me mention this, but I literally do a 30 minute class in the morning, but then I get there early, people turn up late, so it ends up going on longer than the actual time. And then it's sort of like a half hour drive back home as well so it's a couple of hours really out of the day but it's not like a full day's work but it is obviously then like it does take up like the whole morning which is fine it's absolutely fine and then all day saturday of working classes as normal and then it's exams on sunday just feel like i've not been very prepared for it there's oh my god there's someone in the car next to me i feel like i've not been very prepared for it which is com completely my fault because i've just got to the end of the year and just been like i can't be bothered doing anything that i don't need to do which is so bad and i just i just can't wait for the new year to just be reset and just start afresh i suppose it's been a really busy end to the year and i've just not been mentally prepared for that not long to go. Eight more days working, including today. I can't wait to finish. I can't wait to have a rest for 12 whole days. I think that's the longest break I've had, probably since last Christmas. Oh my God, yeah, it actually will have been since last Christmas. Next year will not be like that. And I am convinced myself and I'm determined to have two holidays next year, which sounds like a lot, considering I've not had a holiday. Well, the last time I've actually had a, like, going away. I mean, I've had like weekends away in this country but the last time i actually went like abroad was march 2019 i went to berlin and then before that was oh my god it was september 2017 yeah it was just after my 21st like a proper like nice relaxing beach holiday we went to menorca and the place we went to was absolutely stunning i think ideally i'd like maybe like a short trip and then like a longer week 10 days two week kind of trip but that's not gonna be till the summer but hopefully if I can get like a smaller trip in, in between now and then, maybe like a three or four day, that would be, be amazing. Yeah, I need to actually take care of myself next year and just not go crazy and yeah, just actually, <laughs> just actually take some time to myself because yeah, it's hard to not. Some days I do wish that I had a normal job, but I wouldn't be happy. I wouldn't be happy in a normal job because I've done it before and I think especially because I knew that I had the dance school and I knew that I could be doing that just that it was really hard it was a struggle if I had a normal job and that was it and not the dance school it would be a different scenario but now I've had the dance school and if I was to get rid of it and go and get from Monday to Friday 9 to 5 yeah logistically in an ideal world that would be lovely but it's just not me and I like working for myself as well and being able to do my own thing. But it's, I just don't like being told what to do. <laughs> I think that's why I enjoy working for myself so much because I just like, I enjoy setting my own hours, setting my own kind of how my day's set up, what I do in my classes. Yeah, I think that's just how I'm built. It is also like, oh my God, I just wish that I could just have annual leave and like get those 28 days holiday like a normal person oh my god there's somebody literally right there getting in my car right i am gonna go i'm gonna go and grab something to eat and then i'm going to my boyfriend's sister's house because i've not been to her house in a long time i'm gonna go and have a little quick catch up i really don't have a lot of time yeah i will catch up with you in a bit maybe probably not I'll probably end up signing it off on like in like three days time and then being like oh sorry but yeah i'm signing off for now i'll see you in a bit happy friday i feel like i just keep sitting in the car wearing this coat in this whole video but it's so toasty and warm and it's literally it's minus two and a half and it was minus five when i left about an hour and a half ago i just thought i would wrap this video up because i haven't got a clue where i'm at and what i'm doing or anything like that so as i'm filming this now this video is gonna go up tonight I don't know what's happening with my hair today. Thank you as always for watching. If you've got to the end of the video, give it a thumbs up. If you've enjoyed it as well, give it a thumbs up. Drop me a comment below if you want to. And please don't forget to subscribe as well. I 
I'm hoping to put a video up every week. I've got an idea for my next video or for my next two videos. But yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.